Hello and welcome, I'm JD and today we're going to play on Pillars. Um, hoping to get some more maps maybe onto the channel because uh, we, we do play a lot of Pillars um, at the moment. Um, and we are going to play as the OSP. Now the fleet I'm going to be bringing is uh, mass drivers uh, with some 450 millimeters. So we'll see how that goes and I'll explain that uh, as we uh, get on screen. So we are team one, uh, we're, we've got uh, one step away who's going to go cap point E. Uh, I've got a, a, a EWAR, uh, sorry, an early warning tug. So it's got a bloodhound and an early warning radar, which will be able to sweep above. We've also got the ANZ Gripe, which is just a small fast shuttle designed to be um, either designed to do like capping. And then uh, Scream and Howl. Um, both have two mass drivers, um, which are boosted with E-Regs, and then just 450mm uh, cannons as well. Actually, I think they could be 250mm cannons. So the reasoning that I... Um, sorry, the 250mm cannons. The reason that I was doing that was I wanted um, to play a bit of a, a long-range support, but I absolutely acknowledge the fact that sometimes uh, you get in, or something gets in nice and close, and you just need to burst fire that which is why we've got the uh, the C65s. So straight up deploying in, uh, probably could have gotten a little closer to B for myself, but that's okay. We're gonna change the heading uh, so we start to get the broadsides facing in the correct direction. And with the ANZ idle, we'll start sweeping across the map looking for targets. And you can just see that, that cone uh, sweeping across. Uh, because we're mounted it on the top, um, we'll also be able to move uh, the ship around as well. Now we end up with three early warnings. You can see that the I Spy and uh, over to the left, the early warning um, tug. So that's obviously, uh, I wouldn't name it early warning tug because it usually, um, once you get enough intel to see the ship's name, it um, can be, uh, can you identify a ship's name? I don't know, I could be, I could be talking wrong here, but um, between us, we can see that uh, I Spy is covering D, so I'm going to switch my uh, early warning radar over to the right-hand side. Send your zone box. I'm just going to get uh, Howl and Scream into position. I think we'll start to go around the right-hand flank shortly, uh, and we've got the parasophone. Parasophone uh, moving into cap B. So we're getting an early cap on B, something's over on D, um, and we're also getting E. So a little bit of a lead going our way to start with. Now the gripe, uh, Bellbird, R18 launches and a pinpoint, so it can jam and lock, but at the same time, it's got a little bit of offensive capability. Um, I do consider sending it down below the map. I think I eventually decide to send it up above the map. And we're just going to go fairly high. Aye, aye, Commander. We're moving. How can we help today, Commander? Small shuttles, very hard to detect, very fast to move, so a very good uh, capping uh, scouts. Um, I think most fleets that. should probably have aye one aye. if your build allows it, um, particularly when you're running line ships and they are just very, very slow. Today, so there's an Ocello over with us on the right-hand side. Um, so now that we've capped that shuttle... Uh, we're capping B, and we've also slid into A. We're going to make sure that the line ships are indeed able to support the right-hand side, and then uh, we'll be able to advance on that side and fire into the middle. Now, the right-hand side is a little bit more open on pillars, I think. Uh, I think the left has um, a little bit more cover uh, relative to, to uh, my vision, so uh, that's why I sort of want the mass drivers out there. How can we help today, Commander? We do get a couple shots off. Um, or we do try to get a couple shots off here. Uh, you can see that there's, I think, that rail, that uh, seller has a rail gun. Uh, I don't think I ever end up checking out to actually see what that is, but we get uh, two uh, rail shots off directly uh, from how I think it is. And then uh, we get two hits. So the way I've had it is I've had the two mass drivers at, at midships and then the C65s on either side. Um, and I, I wanted to do that because the, the casemates have a little bit more of a gimbal than the mass drivers do, which means I can uh, use them to uh, focus in uh, on a tighter target when the mass drivers uh, really need to be aligned. 
So we're getting a couple good hits. At this point, not really sure what that is. Obviously, we're going to be flaring quite large, but they're still not detected, which um, is quite interesting. Something appears on the right-hand side, so uh, we're going to throw the early warning radar uh, onto that track. Spotlight it for us. We're going to get the line ships now to start to focus on that. Outside the range of the 250s, uh, but within range of the mass drivers. So we just need to bring the uh, the bow around so that we are broadside on. Now you could probably do this uh, with the 450 millimeter liners as well. You're not going to really have the range, but you, you definitely do have that burst capability. The amount of power required to operate the mass drivers uh, doesn't really lend itself um, or, or is a limiting factor compared to the 450 millimeter liners where you get a lot of, um, you can just stack a lot of the um, 450 casemates as well as um, ammunition elevators, etc. Which is partly of the reason why I went with the, the C65s. It was because of power and um, also because of points. The ammo is cheaper, the weapons are cheaper. Uh, we do get some locks. We are going to start dropping some mass drivers on it. We do see that there is um, uh, clearly a center ship and then some sort of supporting ships. They all had defenders, so uh, missiles aren't going to really do much here. We are going to try and just spread the fire at the moment because I'm not sure who they are. The piranhas, after, after seeing that first um, rocket barrage, they probably shouldn't have kept firing rockets because we know that we're not going to breach that point defense. Uh, at the ready. Heavy cruiser with four frigates is nothing to be sniffed at. And you know, as you can see, I'm writing in team chat. You have to degrade or destroy done, these man. frigates. Because if you just focus the heavy cruiser, day. which is always the the, the threat which everyone sort of focuses on, um, it's ready, great. Commander. But Can't it's the small it. ships that enable the large ships in this particular us. formation. So we have to be able to kill way, the frigates so that we can then get the rockets and the missiles through... Um, also, so that they don't get, gotcha. they don't jam us, and they just don't take out our smaller ships. Send your traffic. And I'm just trying to switch um, the focus on a number of my ships at the moment, just trying to uh, pull them back at the same time, but also uh, get some uh, hits onto them. You see, we're getting some uh, good shots onto each of the frigates. Awaiting orders, Commander. Got some light cruisers in the middle. We got a battleship sitting over on D uh, with the reins as well. So there's a heavy cruiser with uh, four frigates on the right side, light cruisers in the center, and a, a battleship off to the left, and one player unaccounted for on the other team. We have taken three points, so we it is in our favor. Um, however, we've only got a lead of about 46, and that's not massive. You see the jamming there from um, the frigates. Uh, definitely annoying for us but we've we've got the the vision still at the ready commander we are pulling Copy back that. moving energy systems go ahead Hold command on. opponent destroyed go ahead command uh, now the gripe's gone too high you can see that um, it's telling me that go we're going to start moving. to withdraw so i need to immediately get it down um, should have called it Icarus because we flew a little bit too Beginning high, the um, a little bit too high to the sun, five. too close to the sun. That was a, a great line that I screwed up there. That's okay. The tug will uh, pull that out of the, the back, rightly so. The enemy here making good use of the terrain. I would need to come up um, to be able to uh, Go ahead, command. You know, continue to fire on it. Another round of rockets. I don't think they really connect. Uh, you can see a lot of anti-missile missiles and offensive missiles. I think that that is as well. So I, I don't think we're um, we're getting the hits for the rockets there. Now it is a little bit hard to see on the screen, so I'm not really sure of the effectiveness of it. We could have actually done some damage. A lucky 450 uh, clips my CIC, but the they look like they keep keep on um, moving forward. So I don't think they've actually done anything offensive missiles out. coming towards us uh, we've got uh, just all pavis um, 
And so I think we, we dodged that fine. Be done, Commander. On the way, Commander. Standing by. Gonna send the ANZ gripe over the top. We'll go cap to point aye, aye. C. Um, the heavy cruiser will be quite slow. So um, to get back there, light cruisers seem to be committing in the center. And battleships are quite slow, so we will be okay there. Send your traffic. Yeah, RPF starting to hit some of those shuttles. Copy that. It's probably always a good idea to keep at least one rocket on a shuttle. That way you can just cap and contest points. I don't think one rocket will really do too much in the uh, the grand scheme of things. Uh, the fact that he's hiding behind the uh, rock is actually allowing me to just fire at um, targets of opportunity. The enemy is it's... I think I've uh, moved my tug away, so I'm not necessarily sure where the um, Got you five by they've five. dipped off. Or they're, they're behind cover, so that's okay. It gives me a little bit of time to restore. It gives me a little bit of time to, to prepare. You can see that they, they start to drift back around, so we'll, we'll get a lock Copy on them that. in a second. Ready. Got you five by five. Ready. A's going the way of the um, Alliance, being capped over to the... Um, the light cruisers in the center. Off. They've made good work of that. Send your traffic. Take them out. Understood. Engaging. They are now within HE range, so we are going to start firing some HE. We do lose uh, the mag the magazine or the reinforced magazine. Um, I didn't notice that, so we didn't do any firing. It's going to take a, a couple of seconds to get back online. So, um, bit of a misplay ahead, on me. Maxford, yeah, getting some 250s. Probably should have switched to AP for it, but uh, I'm not going to lose too much sleep over it. We've got a couple of uh, mass driver hits over the course of the, the game onto it, so I think it's it's doing okay. The Bloodhound up. Some more offensive size ones by the looks of it. Shots out. And this is what I was talking about. And like, you got to take out these support ships. Not only are they able to, um, uh, actually, I don't think they're offensive size ones. I think they're just AAM, uh, AMMs, anti-missile missiles. I actually think that the rocket ships, without taking out those frigates, um, and by going for the heavy cruiser, we we haven't been able to. They've basically negated all of the rockets because they've been able to just um, use the mixture Shots of anti-missile missiles and um, 20 millimeter slugs just to defend. Still waiting for my um, magazine to come back up onto the screen, but how uh, doing okay, taking some damage, nothing too important um, has actually been destroyed. I do see a DC locker there that I'll put out that fire and then I'll, I'll get that restore back up. Modules. Send your traffic. Yeah, it's taking a long time to get these uh this magazine back for now, ammo. Commander. On the way. Awaiting orders, Commander. Enemy jammer. Aye aye. I don't really focus too much on what's on the other side of the map, uh, because I'm really not sure. Um Standing Looks by. like maybe in a cello and a couple of monitors over there. Send traffic. Send traffic. We have you loud and clear. Gripes going Standing over the by. top, so that's good. Get into C. We need that third point back just to keep our lead up. We're not the fastest uh, group of ships. Uh, as we lose more of the shuttles, we lose more of our maneuverability. I haven't actually played a rocket shuttle swarm yet, so you know, take what I say with a grain of salt uh, at the moment because I don't really have the experience to tell you today. how to play it or how not to play it. I think that's probably important to say that I, I haven't played every fleet build or every ship type. Um, you know, I, do, I do have a few that I'm cycling through at the moment and playing with, but uh, I don't have a, a wide fleet uh, depth. Across both of the factions, it's probably Set worth it. to say that. 
since the Solomon I've marked that as a priority. Uh, so we need to cap D. So we're into C with the gripe, which is great. Does get exposed by uh, some of the light cruisers, I think, below, or by that rains. So uh, we do move it up behind uh, E just a little bit, make use of the cover. Uh, whilst we cap point C, we are losing point E as well, so it is a one-for-one one trade. I think we'll probably get a maybe an extra tick of points, but uh, it won't be too much. Looks like the other player was also another Ready. Axford Reigns player. Um, Standing by. Keystone down there. Uh, sorry, it's beams. So I think uh, a per one person brought uh, Axfords and frigates. One person brought an Axford, a frigate, and a light cruiser. Uh, looks like we've got a Solomon, and then we've got uh, beam destroyers as well. All Sneak way, back around Commander. point D. Don't need to make it too fast. It is a quick ship. And now that the enemy is moving through uh, and above point B, uh, we'll be able to get them as they come around. We are being supported uh, by an Acello and some monitors as well, so uh, they'll come in, or cargo feeders, they'll come in shortly. A couple rocket strikes onto that axe, very well done there. I'm just trying to mark that range as a priority. It's actually dead. I missed that it's uh, death smoke was there. How can we help today, Commander? Sensor traffic. Just keep checking the sort of the angles. That's why I keep sort of zooming in and zooming out. Stopping the ship. There's that rains again, so. Now that we've uh, ready, got a range closer at home, uh, that's Standing what we're going to start to focus. We can't let them cap B, and I can't go sit matter. on B. Um, so we need to be able to get that. Um, we need to be able to destroy each of those ships as they come down and around. Um, and then we need to aye, aye. take them out. And so we're going to focus fire at both, both ships worth of uh, 250 and HE or mass drivers onto uh, the support ships first. Take him out. Holding here. It'll be done, Commander. Standing by. Engaging. They're gonna learn today. I did put another 250 on the other side of the ship just in case, you know, Something got around the other side, but I'm actually thinking I'll probably remove that. I think it's just a waste. Uh, it could be better off just having Go some ahead, size two missiles or something um, as a better option, or some anti missile missiles or something like that. Um, yeah, I just don't really think I did. I don't really think I used them for what I, I wanted them to. It's probably bad positioning too if someone's outflanking me. Right. So. Maybe I need like an intel center or something like They're that instead. But then again, They're power could be an issue. Today. I'll have to take this one away and think about it. Reporting. Got you five by five. Go ahead, command. Some close range rockets there, doing well to take out that destroyer. See the Acello down below is supporting as well. Just going to mark all of these little frigates as priorities. Send your traffic. Understood. Engaging. Yep, so that one's dead. You can see the uh, life pods are jumping out. Uh, so uh, we're going to switch fire in a second. It'll be done, Commander. Mark that is killed. Well done. Got you five by five. 
getting ourselves into D. We are being detected, so I'll make, make way, sure that we get to the other side of D ASAP. Um, there's the Solomon just loitering around. I am going to fire some rockets at it. I don't think that, that they don't end up doing anything, but, you know, um, I don't waste the entire barrage. I don't think the entire barrage would have got through anyway. Yeah, nah, Cirrus's. At the ready, Commander. So one frigate uh, is down. It, it uh, is allowing us to continue to focus on the rest of these uh, ranges here. Again, more missiles be being done, uh, deployed. I think they are anti-missile missiles because the rockets are starting to fire at it. Some uh, 450 HE firing onto the track 2358, which is an, the uh, gotcha. heavy cruiser. On the way, Commander. Yeah, so there are any missile missiles. Uh, we actually are going to start to do a bit of a... Well, they could be offensive sized ones. I am not sure. I, um, I am going to start to move the line ships in, though. Uh, we are going to start to close because ahead, uh, we need to maintain that 250 millimeter range, but we also need to maintain... Like, I'm going to have to end up on that point. They're going to be able to get that axe in there. They're going to be able to get the rail guns in there, and I just need to be able to then get in there as well. We do cap point D, so back three points to us, two points to the enemy. Very close at the moment, only 16 points different. So a couple ticks, uh, and then it'll be a, um, it'll be tied. They're gonna learn today. Send your traffic. Just trying to take out these frigates. Beginning the attack. The enemy is securing zone boxer. I'm not really using that tug anymore, so I'm going to go send it down to try and cap point E. We are losing B now, so they are sitting go on ahead, B. Man. You can see some more life pods jumping out. Understood. So again, um, we've now been able to take out another Getting round of, uh, or another frigate. Let's mark that one as dead. Uh, the Nebraska here. Um, I will, that one, that ship I think will haunt me a little bit. Firing on that target. Because it, it um, you can see he's he's capping B with the Axford, but he's actually able to get or will be able to get track uh, 4048, which is the Nebraska away, um, and that ship will later go on to contest other points. So uh, maybe this is where removing uh, and putting some small missiles on could be a, a good thing, just for these type of um, destroying these small ships. Understood. Engage. Another uh, bunch of life pods uh, being ejected, I think. No. Actually, I'm not sure if the Massachusetts gets away as well. Can't remember. They must be very tanky um, frigates, to be honest. Got you five by five. Take them out. They're going to learn today. Receiving. Standing by. Got you five by five. Got you five by five. Still very close, very close. Awaiting orders, Commander. Now we've got Go some ahead, missiles coming in. Now this is where uh, like a couple of the defenders, I think, got them. I think we also got a, we snuck a couple of those missiles through. Got to clear that heading. Uh, track 5603, the, the frigate, um, It'll be done, which uh, is next to the heavy cruiser on B, still uh, still there. So um, we did let one frigate get away, like I was talking about before. Even though we've uh, degraded across a number of capabilities, uh, nothing orders, too uh, worrisome. Yeah, okay, see, so we're getting missiles on. 450s on there that frigate now is destroyed as well uh we're gonna switch to a mix of uh, ap she probably should have been firing ap the whole time uh, against the axford so we've got three other four frigates you can see 4046 is getting away the solomon's coming to take d um now this is this is a bit foolish on my part You sh I should never have moved this um, Acknowledged. that shuttle from its position. 
I, I did want to cap a point back because we're, we're down Engaging. four to one, but um, you know it's in a perfect position to just wait. Uh, Axe is taking a huge ahead, amount of damage, yeah. but it's still fine. See, my thinking here was not necessarily to cap the point, but was to actually um, fire some rockets at the battleship, which d doesn't sort of end up eventuating in terms of um, effectiveness, aye, aye, but it also rec shows that I have a shuttle out here. See, what I could have done is just kept it hidden behind point Start D, waited for the um, beam ahead, ship to be man. far enough away, and then come back in and capped it. Um, that would have then given me this, uh, free, uh, this shuttle for a, a later endeavor um, against the frigate that I let it get away um, over on B, which you can see in the top of the screen, which um, then goes on to cap point C, and defenders just make short work of that. So uh, no benefits there. Just I thought I could do something, but uh, I sh should have known better. But, you know, we all make these mistakes during battle. So, um, and as much as I say I learn from them, I sometimes don't think I do. E's been capped, which is great. Standing by. Uh, now that we've moved the line shifts in, that's good. It lets us put um, a little bit of um, support to the center, but the, we are also blocked a little bit from... Uh, we are also blocked from the, the left-hand side of the map as we started, so point E and point D I'm not really able to cover with the line ships anymore. The Axford has finally succumbed, so um, it took a while. That player did very, very well. I can't remember who it was. Uh, I think it was, I'm not sure who it was, but um, like Cruiser over here, I can start to sort of get a little bit of shots on, but um, it's going to be able to get up and away to point E. I'm going to focus on 9564 with both of these ships just to try and take it out. So with the line ships in point B, C is still retained. I am trying to cap D now. Um, and I did this too early because, again, I, I showed my hand and the rear beam will lance through, destroy uh, my ship. Really upsetting because um, I have basically no maneuverability now and we don't have a lot of the other smaller shuttles around. So the ability to just run around and cap and contest points uh, isn't uh, in our favor anymore. And that, I think, is a strength of the OSP is the, the small, fast ships. The tug will also get thrown away because um, yeah, uh, it's still going to point E, but it's, it's getting fired on. I can't fire back. So I've just got the two line ships now. They've taken some damage, but they're still not too bad. Now that the, um, the shuttle is also destroyed, the Solomon understands that it can move off point D, um, which... If I didn't gotcha. show my hand, five. he would have had to sort of get halfway around the map and decide, do I go hey, back, do I stay? It also allows uh, for point C to be captured by the frigate that got away. Or the one that got away. The enemy secured zone eclipse. The lead is being extended by the OSP now. Uh, up, up 100 points. Oh, I don't think those rockets connect with the light cruiser. Looks like defenders are just uh, being able to uh, get get them and deal with them. We're being targeted. I'm not 100% sure which players are controlling which fleet. At the moment, I didn't really do a very good look at the beginning. So I am a little bit um, lost as to you know who's supporting where but i do know that people are supporting in different places and that's uh, that's later. good enough for me there's um that frigate uh, you can see that its track number has changed that's because it's um it was dropped off the sensor network for a long enough period of time so when its last position was known and then it moved at least what two and a half kilometers away from that last known position before it popped back up on the sensor network that's why it gets a new track number but that is the frigate that got away um it was able to traverse around the map and um pop up in a new location sorry for all the switching uh, lots going on here tug's still alive try to get it onto a but 
Uh, we're not going to get that C being lost because of that frigate. Beginning the attack. I can see a, a, another frigate, so I'm going to start firing at that. Aye, aye. Now we're at 7,000 meters. You can see the firing beam launching target. already. Um, they're going to close to, what, five, five and a half very, very quickly. Beginning the attack. So we'll get some shots onto the, um, the battleship, but at the end of the day, it'll rip through our ships very, very quickly. Um, too quickly. And I don't think we'll be able to ever do enough damage to it because of its armor. Heavy cruiser still okay. Light cruiser still okay. Aye, aye, full burn. So it's a gun battleship with just a rear beam. I think I like that build, to be honest. Um, I think the beam is very um, effective against the OS, um, the OSP. Awaiting orders. With the amount of shuttles, I think it just deletes shuttles super quickly, um, as opposed to trying to use RPF against a, t um, a tug or a shuttle swarm. So yeah, I think it's, I think a rear um, beam is actually the way to on battleships at the moment if you're not running a full beam standing by send your traffic heading there now commander all right uh 185 points up uh this is basically the home stretch they've got the majority of the points we don't have any of the ships to go cap um anything else so it, it, this is basically the alliance's game here um enemy lock yeah, sad shuttle. That's okay. Shuttles are going to go cap point A, which is good. We've got B, but we haven't got C. They're going to learn today. The cap on point C though did do um, and D. That I did add to our um, tally a lot, I think. It'll be done, Commander. I think that beam, just being able to reach out and destroy that um, early warning tug Understood. is, uh, has done, has saved that point D again. So I think that battleship player is playing it pretty good. Started on D, moved around, moved around to the flank, came back in through the center. Recap point D, destroyed a shuttle on point D, occupied the mid. And then again defended that point. So I think that that battleship's um, <coughs> done, done its job. Engaging target. Center traffic. Moving to that position. Center traffic. On the way, Commander. Slated. At the ready, Commander. The Axford out here that was dueling around on point E, uh, I'm going to engage it, but at this point, even though we're going to start the cap point E back, uh, it's only a couple of ticks left, and this will be the game gotcha. for five the Alliance. I think they played really, really well. Um, I don't think we were able to take out as many of their ships as we would have liked, and I think gotcha. that... Five um, just the heavy nature of what they had um, stopped us from being able to um, maintain the capture on all the points. Maneuverability is still uh, a very much um, the name of the game, I think, for a lot of um, a lot of the battles that you you encounter. Uh, it's good to have high damage dealers, but you also do need to be able to go capture things. So. I hope you in, uh, enjoyed th this game. Um, I do think I will tweak this fleet just a little bit to see how it goes. Um, and then from there, uh, I I'd like to play it again. All right. Thanks for watching and take care.